This is it. I feel the sun on my back and I know this is paradise. The place I was meant to be. Go! Go, go! Come on, guys, sprint! Come on, push it! Go! Last one back, there's another lap of the bench! It hurts. Every training session hurts like hell. But I wouldn't swap this for anything. Come on, guys, push, push, push! Work. Excellent. Sorry, Amy, you got it. Do I have to? You've got 10 seconds to be on your way, or it's two laps. Come on, Amy. Dig deep. Eyes on the prize. That's all that matters. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the scoreboard. It tells you exactly how you're going throughout the year. Yeah, it looks like we're doing really well so far. <laughs> <laughs> We've given you some time to settle in, get used to things. But now, it's time to get serious. Qualify for the surf off at the end of the year, you each need 60 points. You score points for training, both for showing up and how you do it. You also score points for keeping up Nine. at school, doing duties around Ten. the house. 21, come on, 22. It won't be easy. You'll be sweet if you remember three little things. Surf hard, work hard, keep your eyes on the prize. The prize, wild card entry to the pro circuit. The dream. Fly and I will help you any way we can. We'll coach you, we'll push you. But at the end of the day, it's up to one person. You. Me. It's down to me. Total responsibility for everything I do. Exactly how I like it. Now let's not forget the best point scoring opportunity of all, the contest. Now you've got your first crack at one this weekend. If I were you, I'd start focusing on your preparation now. Preparation, the magic word. The difference between success and failure. And I've got the secret formula. Secret formula? What sort of secret formula? If I told you it wouldn't be a secret anymore, now would it? Come on, Corey, you can tell me. We're best friends. Since when? Since you told me you got a secret formula for winning comps. Some best friend. So come on, tell me. <sighs> it's no big deal. It's just recognising the obvious. Which is? That human beings can outsmart nature. Whoa. That seriously deep? Not really. See those guys out there? What about them? Every surf you see just sits out there waiting for the best wave. Of course, that's what surfing's all about. Not with me, it's not. Every beach has certain definable qualities, uh, things that make that place special. Like? Uh, like the currents, the tides, weather patterns, geography. OK, so? So I take all this data, feed it into a computer and build a model of what the place is going to look like. Then I know exactly how to surf on the day. Are you serious? Absolutely. Preparation and planning, that's what can give you the edge. Otherwise, we'll never get much better than them. Shopping around, hoping to get lucky. Fly! Fly! Come on, don't try hiding. I know you're down here somewhere. I'm here. Nice shot. How come you couldn't do that last year? I practiced over the holidays. We had a lot of rain in Perth this summer. Hey, listen, can we round everyone up? I need a house meeting. What for? Well, I have here, after many hours of deep thought, come up with the perfect plans for the allocation of domestic duties at Solar Blue. Heath, I thought you'd given up on this stuff. I thought you realised that complicated rosters and... Why? And acting like an army sergeant wasn't the way to go. Why? I'm not going to be acting like an army sergeant and I'm not handing out complicated rosters. OK, so why do we need a house meeting then? And what's with all those papers? Oh, sorry, but all will be revealed at the meeting. Fly. You're gonna have to trust me on this, okay? Okay, but we can't have a house meeting now because Rachel and Corey aren't here. Why not? Because you sent them shopping for groceries, remember? Oh yeah, right. So, just how good are you at pool now? Good enough. Yeah, good enough to challenge me? I'll even give you two balls start. Oh, you must have had a lot of rain this summer. What do we play for? Well, if you win, I'll take you to the movies Friday night. And if you win? If I win, well, I'll take you Friday night and Saturday night. You're on. You can't plan everything. Who says you can't? Come on, when you're out there, you can't possibly predict what's going to happen. You have to go along with what your guts tell you on the day. Well, maybe if some old hippie surfer believes in all that gobbledygook, but I'm not. <laughs> it's not gobbledygook, and I'm not some hippie either, in case you hadn't noticed. No, but... You can't second-guess the ocean. It calls the shots and you play along. Nature's too big to control. It wins every time. Look around, Rachel. What do you see? What is this, an IQ test? Come on, tell me what you see. I don't know. A road, some houses. What's your point? That's my point. 
roads, houses, walls, buildings. 200 years ago, this was nothing but scrubby old bush. And human beings use their brains and build all this stuff. They beat nature, just like they have all over the world. The tsunami could wipe this out in 10 minutes flat. Or a cyclone or a freak storm, then who's the winner? And then they rebuild it. Probably better than it is now. If people put their minds to something, they can pretty much do it. Even so? Why not? We've sent guys to the moon. Figuring out how to manoeuvre a foam slab down a wave should be a piece of cake. And I thought you are such a nice, quiet, unassuming guy. I am. I'm also fabulously charming and extremely modest. <laughs> Shall we go? Thanks. You know, you shouldn't use plastic bags. They're bad for the environment. I thought you said nature could beat everything. Sometimes even nature needs a bit of help. If I promise to stop using them, does that mean you'll like me again? Not necessarily, but it'll be a good start. All right, peoples, a little attention, please. First of all, I can see by the way you're all tucking into my extremely hearty spinach pie that you're deeply appreciative of the efforts I've gone to for tonight's dinner. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Don't mention it. Now, moving on to the first agenda item for the evening. Is this a meeting? Mm, yeah, well, unless there's any objections. No. Mm -mm. Simo? No, mate, you're the boss. Well, actually, that's my point. From now on, I'm not the boss anymore. What? Since when? Are you resigning? No, 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 nothing so dramatic. I've decided rather than me allocate you tasks on a roster basis all the time, you can sort it out for yourselves. How? It'll be chaos. More than chaos. Hey, even though you've been a little bit dictatorial, any organising's better than no organising. Well, thanks for the touching endorsement, Brooke. What Brooke's trying to say, Heath, is that... No, it's, it's OK, Amy. I know I've been a bit heavy-handed with things, and... Well, that's exactly what this new system is designed to avoid. What, so there's still a system? Yes, and it's simple. Each of you will get a sheet like this. It's got your names and the six tasks. Cooking, vacuuming, bedrooms, dusting, etc. You just put your name next to the task you want to look after. The choice is yours. Hey, hey what if two of us want to do vacuuming? Yeah, or six. I mean, vacuuming could turn out to be seriously popular. You're kidding. Not as popular as vacuuming can... But you know what I mean. Well, then, you'll have to negotiate. OK, I'm hands-free on this one, guys. It's up to you as to who does what, and it's entirely your responsibility. When do you want to know by? No hurry. Tomorrow will do. Tomorrow? That means we have to sort it out tonight. Well, the day after's the serve comp, and I'm sure Simo doesn't want you worrying about this stuff then. Exactly. Come on, guys. You're all big boys and girls. Time to get decisive. Got a second? Sure. What are you up to? Uh, just putting in the last bits of data for the comp on Saturday. You really believe all this stuff, don't you? Why wouldn't I? I know it'll work. So you just go out there and do what the computer tells you? I've still got to perform on the day, but I'll know exactly where the waves are coming from, what sequence they come in, where to sit in order to catch them. That's freaky. No, that's science. OK, so the others have gone through the list and chosen the chores they'd like to do. And? And basically, household laundry and bathrooms are all that's left. <laughs> That'd be right. So which one do you want? Well, which do you want? Don't fancy bathrooms much. Neither do I much. Doesn't doing all this take the fun out of surfing? Not at all. It adds to it. It's all about taking control of something that people have always thought is uncontrollable. But that's what surfing's all about. The thrill of never knowing what's coming next. The absolute buzz you get when you respond to that. I still get a buzz out of surfing. It's just this helps me do it better. How's it gone before, in previous comps? It hasn't. I only just completed the program. This is the first time? Don't worry. I've been dry testing it for months. It's ready to go. You're crazy. Think of the points you're risking. Tell you what, I'll follow my program on Saturday and I promise you I'll get a top three spot, at least. If I don't, I'll do the bathrooms. Come on. Science or nature? The loser gets to have a year-long love affair with a toilet brush. You game? She's good. 
Got it. Oh, good. Yeah. sitting out there waiting for a wave. Any second now. Come on, don't let me down. How long's he got? Just under a minute. He's cutting up fine. Corey Petri stakes all on waiting for the perfect wave to see if his gamble pays off. Keep that up, you'll be a shoe in for the finals. Wait, so does that mean no more early morning training? <laughs> Come on, Eric. The early morning training is what's made you this good. Yeah, yeah, that and my fantastic country style salary. Thanks, Thanks, Eric. Thanks, Eric. Thanks, Eric. Yeah, they mentioned it. And as an added little incentive, if the girls win their heat, they get a bonus point each. Same for the boys. If both teams win, two bonus points each. Right. Yeah, now we're oh, That's serious motivation, Simo. That's right. <laughs> so let's get out there and go for it. That was some risk you took out there, waiting for just one wave. No, not really. I knew the wave would come. There's no way you could possibly know that. Admit it, you got lucky. No, I make my own luck. It's like I told you. Prepare properly and you control the surf. It doesn't control you. So what's going to happen this heat, then? This heat? I'm going to pull a ten-pointer. What? You cannot seriously know that. You're right. But I bet you I'll come close. I could really get to hate you, you know? <laughs> Especially now you're going to be doing the bathrooms, huh? I'm not there yet, Corey. Crank it up 
Mike Cruz an 8.5, and Eric Tanner also 8.5. How long am I? Just under two minutes. Is he doing it again? He's doing it again. Looks like Corey Petrie's going down to the wire again, gambling the lot on catching the perfect wave. Oh no. What? There's a wind change. There's no swell, it's not gonna happen. Still got time. Inside a minute, he's going to have to make his move. He's heading for the rock break. Yes. And with 30 seconds to go, he's trying his luck at the boneyard. He's gonna get smashed. Why? The boneyards is a high tide break. He's just gonna make this way. Come on, oh, mate. Come on, Up to the surf club, get someone out there in a rubber ducky. Yep, you right. guys, come with me now. What do we do? We can understand here. Rachel, maybe we can see more from the point.
Eric, how many times do you have to sharpen that thing? Till it's done. It is done. If you sharpen it anymore, there won't be a pencil left. Sorry. Anyone want a drink? I don't really want one. Eric, sorry. If you want to sharpen a pencil, then sharpen a pencil. No, it's okay. I think I need a new challenge anyway. I might go count the toss in the bathroom. What's the news? He's got concussion, a few cuts and bruises. But he's a very lucky boy. He's going to be fine. Yes! yes. yes. So fine. <laughs> 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 All right. Keeping him in overnight for observation, but he should be back by tomorrow afternoon. Right, I think we'll start planning his reception. I don't think he'll be ready for a party. Who said anything about a party? No, no, no. He stuffed up the boys' event for us. So I think we should uh, get him back. We're going to be pulling in favours for a very long time. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, and uh, speaking of favours, can we all hand in our choices for house duties, please? Oh, we're just waiting for Rachel and Corey. Um. Look, um, don't worry about it, Rachel. Considering the circumstances, I think I can wait another day. Actually, you don't have to. It's all been decided. Welcome back. How are you feeling? Good. Really? No, not really. It feels like concrete and every bone in my body seems to be screaming louder than every other bone in my body. You poor guy. No one to blame but myself, though. So you admit it? Science got it wrong? No way. I admit nothing of the sort. But you bombed out. You planned everything down to the last detail and it didn't work. Science failed. I failed. Not science. I should have predicted the wind shift. I mucked up the calculations. But that's the whole point. You can't calculate it. You have to be flexible out there because you never know what nature will throw at you. I will one day. I lost the battle yesterday, but I can still win the war. You're so pig-headed, you know that? Thanks. I need to say so. Here. I bought you a gift. You didn't have to do that. Thank you. Do you remember our bet? When it gets to do the washing, loser does the bathrooms. How could I forget? It's like I got the bathrooms, huh? Toilet brush all of mine. Thanks, Rachel. Now, whenever nature calls, I'll always be ready to follow its path. See? I told you, you can't beat nature. It wins every time. <laughs> ah.